This is so pretty. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, thanks for tuning in. My name is Barbara and I am a makeup and fitness junkie. If you came to this channel for makeup, fitness, hauls, and tutorials, then you're in the right place. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the family. Today's video is going to be on this look and two others that I achieved with the Natasha Denona Trio Chrome palette. If you have not made a decision about this palette, if you're on the fence thinking about getting it and you wanna see how it looks on dark skin and if these shades are wearable, then stay tuned and keep on watching. So before we get into the looks, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about the palette. This is the palette itself. It comes in this carton, which kind of mirrors the packaging. Packaging is gorgeous. The palette is Natasha's original 18 pan price, which is $129. I picked mine up during the Sephora sale, so I did get 20% off and I paid, I think it was 103 bucks plus tax. This is what the palette looks like on the inside. And I know there was a lot of questions about whether or not you were going to be able to achieve a look, a whole look just using this palette, but also if it was going to show well on darker skin. So I did three looks for you guys. I did one look using the bottom row on one eye, then another look using the middle row on the other eye. And then because I just recently did a purple look, I decided to finish with green and I came up with this look. Before we get into the looks, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys swatches real quick. I'm sure by now you've seen them, but since you're here, I'll let you get all your information in one place. So we'll start with the first row. This is the shade Scrap. Next we have the shade Androdite. And I know I swatched some of these for you guys before, but I'm gonna do them all together. I'm gonna do two layers. Then here is Scarab, which is a multi-chrome, which we already know, I love it. Then here's Ion. And then last but not least, we have Ver. So those are the shades from the first row. All right, next we'll go with the middle row. This is the shade Naga. Then we have the shade Manganese. Oh, my arm is still a little wet. Sorry about that. So this is Kinetic, our multi-chrome. Then we have Redox. And then last but not least, we have Tungsten. So that's the shade from the purple row. And then last but not least, we have the last row, which has the shade Color Flip in it. So this is Vertex. The next shade is Plutonium. Then the next shade is Color Flip. And then we have Garmon.
And then last but not least, we have diatonic. So those are the shades in the last row. All right, so now I'm gonna come in a little closer and I'll let you guys see the eye looks that I came up with. All right, so we are up close and personal. I am trying not to be too smiley, smiley, <laughs> excited as I am about this palette, but we're gonna start off with our Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer. I do want to make sure that I have a really light base so that the colors show up. And I have my translucent powder underneath my eyes to make sure there's no fallout. I'm not going to bring this all the way up to my brow bone. I'm just going to put it where I'm going to put most of the color. And I'm going to do this one eye at a time because this dries down really quick and sometimes creases. So we're just going to do it like this. We're going to start off with the bottom row first, and that is the color flip row. I'm going to take the shade Plutonium and I'm going to put that on the inner third of my eye. Right now this is a big, kind of big fluffy brush, but as you can see it's still able to pack on some of the color. I'm going to take a smaller brush just to see how much I can concentrate it. Okay, and then next I'm going to take Garmin. I'm gonna take that on a pointed brush Still a little fluffy, but, and this is just stained, it's not used. So I'm just gonna take that and try to build up into the crease and on the outer third. Ooh, that's dark. I wasn't expecting that to be that dark. That is really good. Okay, Natasha. I'm just gonna blend that into the crease and blend it with plutonium. I'm gonna take a fluffier brush and blow this out a little bit more towards my brow bone and then deepen it. to make sure we cover up that eyeshadow base as well. So I'm gonna try to really pack this on and see how deep I can get it. That is a lot deeper than I thought it was gonna be, which is good. I mean, we figured this row was gonna be more neutral, but at the same time, you still wanna be able to see it. All right, we're gonna stop right there with that. I'm gonna take diatonic. And I'm gonna put that on my inner corner. Mm, showing up a little bit. I mean, I'm really packing, there you go. I mean, that's showing pretty true to color for what's in the pan. I'm gonna go back. I lost a little bit of plutonium, so I'm gonna use the same brush and I'm wiping my brush off with my color switch. I'm gonna go back in plutonium and just kind of pack that back here to blend those back together. And then you know I'm gonna use my finger for this 
duochrome shade. We're using Color Flip, and we're going to take that on the lid. And I'm just going to pat it a little bit over our colors here in the inner corner just to kind of help it all blend together. That is so pretty. And then I'm going to go back. I'm going to try to build up Garmin a little bit more to not lose our depth in the corner. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of diatonic and just go around the edge. I really had no idea that I could get Garmin this dark. Like this shade does not look like this in the pan at all. That is definitely a plus. I'm gonna brush away my under eye bake on this side and then finish my bottom lash line. Ooh, that's bright. A lot more color than I thought. I'm probably going to keep saying that. I'm just going to take a pointed brush and smoke out the bottom lash line with Garmin. I'm not going to be really precise with this just to help blend everything together. I am seeing that there is a lot of kick up in the pan. So I don't know how I feel about that, but... And then I'm going to take diatonic and put that on the inner third. Kind of tie in the duochrome. All right, so that's it for the first look. I'm going to do the second look and then I'm going to put my liner and lashes on and let you guys see everything completed. The second look, we're going to go into the purple row. I'm going to put my primer down first. I'm concentrating that mostly on the lid and then blending, <laughs> blending it outwards a little bit. And of course, if I pack this color on more, the white base, it'll probably show even more, but I'm just using this the way I normally use eyeshadows because I want to see how much more difficult, like, is it worth it to have this? So we are going to do everything exactly the same or as close to the same as possible to see how much more work we have to do just to get this to work. So I'm going to take tungsten and I'm cleaning off my brush and put that in my crease. Ooh, that is pretty. And that is building up nicely. And we're just gonna blow this one out a little bit. And I'm gonna take a brush that's a little bit smaller and sweep this under the lash line a little bit. Just to have everything together. Then I'm gonna take manganese. This one doesn't have as much kick up. And we're going in the crease with that one. It's a lot of pigment. 
I mean, we didn't. We expected that with Natasha. We just didn't know if it was gonna be enough pigment with these shades for us. I'm also going to put this on the outer third. I don't know how I like to make my outer V dark, so that's just what we're doing. Just gonna take the first shade, tungsten, and go back around the edges to blend that out. Then we're gonna take that really bright Naga color. And we're gonna put that one on the inner corner. That is so gorgeous. I'm really packing that on so you can see the color. That looks neon, that is crazy. I'm gonna take a little bit of Naga as well on the brow bone just to help bring everything together. And now it is time for the trichrome. So we're gonna take Kinetic on my finger. Concentrate the color first and then I'm going to take a brush to get closer to my crease. Look how bright that is. Can y'all see the shift? Mm. So now I'm going to build up manganese more to try to get that as dark as I can in the outer corner. If I could put a black with this, if I was doing this look without just trying to only use the palette, I would still put a black. So then for the bottom lash line, we're gonna take Naga. And then we're going to take a little more manganese on a smaller brush. And I want to put Kinetic, I have to. But that is it for that look. I'm going to wipe off my powder. I'm gonna go ahead and do my liner. And I'm gonna put mascara on. I'm not gonna put on lashes because I'm doing another look. And we already know I struggle with lashes, so I'm not putting them on and then taking them back off. So I'm just gonna do my liner and my mascara real quick, and I'll be right back. All right, this is the final look. I, like I said, just put mascara on and I put liquid liner on the top, and then I did put a liner at the bottom. And I did go back over the liner with the colors from the palette that I used on my bottom lash line. So you might be able to see that it's a little bit more amped up, but I finished my face with my Natasha Denona sculpting powder, which I just got from the Sephora haul. I like it a lot. Nice, deep sculpt, but it blends out easy. And then my blush and highlighter are from her palette. The diamond and blush palette in citrus yes citrus so this is what we have for the final look are these colors gorgeous absolutely do they show up a lot more pigmented than we thought they would i would have to say so especially this neutral eye so i'm going to go take this off and then we're going to play with the greens and i'm going to finish with that look and give you my final thoughts all right to my YouTubers <laughs> who do more than one look regularly, kudos to y'all, cause my eyes are burning. 
It doesn't help that I have contacts on either, but I use my micellar water to help get some of this stuff off, but my eyelids were burning. I don't see how y'all do I can't do it regularly. I'll do it sometimes. This is a special occasion, but ooh, child. All right, so now we are gonna dive into the green, which of course y'all know I love purples, but army green, olive green, that is my jam. All right, so we're gonna take Ver and put that in the crease. I'm just blending this out a little bit more so it don't look too, too crazy. And I'm going to do both eyes the same so we can be finished with this video and give you guys my thoughts. Comment below and tell me what you thought about the last two looks. Any surprises? Did they make you think, man, I need to get that palette? Or are you more just kind of like, mm, it's all right. Next, I'm going to take Androdite and go under my brow bone with that. Ooh, that's a lot. Y'all know from watching my videos, I'm not really big on brow bone highlights, but with as bright as these shades are, I feel like it's gonna help blend everything together a little better. I have to clean up my brow. So next, we get to play in scrap. We are also gonna put that into the crease. This is probably one of the shades I'm most excited for. Yeah, that's gonna have some nice pigment. I'm going to keep this in the crease, not bring it up too high. Y'all know I'm going to have to build this up to see how deep I can get it. But I'm going to do that towards the end. Just making sure to really blend these out. And then I'm gonna go back with a smaller, well, no, I'm gonna use the same brush. I'm gonna go back into Vare and just go around the edges of that and darken it just a little bit to make that color really pop more. There we go. I'm gonna take Androdite and we're gonna put that in the inner corner. Since we don't have inner corner highlight shades, we're just using the mattes. I think the question you have to ask yourself with this palette is if you're a, sh if you're a fan of pastel shades do you have anything else in your collection like this that will be this pigmented as a pastel because pastels are really hard to make and they're very hard to get to be this pigmented i mean there's not many palettes that do this and i think that's the thing that makes this one so unique I'm just dragging this into the lower lash line and I'm carefully going around the edge almost to make it kind of like a cut crease. And then I'm going to take my little pencil brush and I'm gonna go back with scrap and I'm gonna put that deeper in my crease. And I'm gonna brush that across my lash line. I'm also gonna put it on my lower lash line. It 
It's building up nicely. It looks really dark on the lower lash line. I'm going to take a smaller brush and I'm going to go back into there and I'm just going to go back around the edges again to make them not be so harsh. And then I'm going to take Scarab and I'm going to put that on my lid. I'm going to start with my finger to concentrate. You know, this is literally why I bought this palette. Oh my goodness, yes. So much yes. Look at how pretty that is. And I'm just blending just a little bit into the inner corner, but I don't want to take away from my inner corner highlight. I'm going to go back in with my brush and just make sure to get closer to my crease, but still keep that line very crisp. I haven't even wet these guys. That's the thing. Like these shades are insane. The other question is if you're getting these just for these triochrome shades, these multi-chromes, would you be better off just getting her liquid ones? I mean, really you're spending $129 for three shades. If that's what you're doing, if you don't think you're ever going to use any of these other shades and you just want the multi chromes to put on your lid, definitely, definitely not worth the money for that. All right. So now y'all know I said I was going to try to darken this up some. See, the bad thing about me is I like to see all the shadows together. So by everything being put in this palette together, I never would have thought to put some of these colors together. And so seeing them together, I'm like, ooh. But ask me to go and like pick out shades. I never would have picked these lighter shades out at all. I didn't do anything with Ion. Wonder. I'm going to put that on my inner corner at the bottom just so we can say we used them all that is so pretty I feel like I need to blend around the edges more I'm gonna take a little bit of scarab Yeah, that looks better. Just so it's not so harsh. So I've just put I actually just went ahead and put the multi-chrome around the edge just to blend it out more. This is so pretty. I'm going to go ahead and put my liner on. I will finish this one with lashes. We'll see how it looks, but I mean, you can see this one I feel like I don't know. Color Flip was pretty multi-dimensional too, but I just feel like this one definitely has the most obvious flip whenever you look at it. So, or maybe it's just because I'm biased to green. I don't know. But I'm going to go finish the rest of my eyes and then I'll come back and I'll give you my final thoughts. All right, guys, this is it for the final look. I'll lean in a little bit so you can see. This is my favorite row of the palette. Even though I love purples, I don't know what it is about these greens, but I just think these colors pop so much more than any of the other shades in the palette. Guys, I'm really torn. I feel like if this would have been one of the $65 palettes, not even a question, I would have kept it. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't feel compelled by anything that I did today that made me be like, 
I have to have this palette. I don't know, I love this and I just, I don't know if it's worth keeping it for $100. I have the Sydney Grace shadows that are also multi-chrome. Let me show you those. So here are my multi-chrome shadows from Sydney Grace. And these three down here, I'll show you swatches, which will give you an idea of why I said I don't know. So this is Beauregard, which I'm gonna swatch the other ones next to it just to see. I haven't done this yet, so this is a good comparison. So I already know the purples are gonna be a little different. So this is the Trio Chrome Purple Kinetic. This is Beauregard from Sydney Grace. Then Chameleonaire is the green from Sydney Grace. So this is the Sydney Grace, and then this is the Natasha Denona. So you can see Natasha's a little more green and gold versus Sydney Grace is a little more blue green gold like I just it has so much more dimension to me and then color flip which is here by Natasha and then twisted shifter which is here I mean these shades are so I feel like the ones that I have from Sydney Grace are a lot more they have a lot more texture. They have a lot more body to them. I know they're not exactly the same, but then I also for color flip have my Pat McGrath shade in um, Sextra Terrestrial. So I'm not that much of a matte lover for a $100 palette. So I guess if I look at it like that, I don't know guys, I don't know if it's worth it. Not for me. So I don't know, I'll play with it some more, but my first initial thoughts, do I love the look? Absolutely, this is gorgeous. You definitely see the multi-chrome in the shadow, but is it worth it? That's the question because this palette is expensive. Let me know your thoughts below. Have you tried it out? Do you like it? Do you think it's worth it? Do you think the looks that I was able to get today are worth $100 because Right now, I'm leaning more towards no. Thank you guys for sticking with me to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that this answered any questions that you have that may help you decide whether or not you're gonna get the palette. It's a tough decision. It's expensive and if you get it, you need to use it. It needs to be worth it. So I hope that I helped. Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. If you like this video and it helped you make a decision or just helped answer questions you had about if it was worth it, please give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.